And here are some updates on two figures I previously reviewed, the Siege Ultra Magnus and the Jetwing Optimus Prime. This is supposedly the configuration of that jet fire body as the main weapon or the main gun uh, th that uh, Jetwing Optimus Prime can carry. And uh, my bad for showing you guys a, a very creative and my own um, rendition of this weapon simply because the instructions didn't say it and the way I did it is I I folded these wings much closer uh, to the fuselage so that you can tab everything uh, you can tab the shoulders on the on the pegs here and the pegs here can tab onto the holes of both arms. You can do the version that Kevin Liu and uh, Prime vs. Prime did, but it's a little bit further from the fuselage, but you're not gonna be able to tab things in. If you put the fuselage together, uh, they're, they're gonna tab in nice and flush. Also, the barrel is very loose. So the way I tightened it is I split the front part a little bit. I didn't tab it all the way in. If you do that, you're gonna tighten uh, you can sort of split it a little bit, just enough friction to hold that barrel so it doesn't it doesn't just fly off very easily. So uh, a bit of some tips uh, if, if you're planning on getting this particular figure. And here is Siege Ultra Magnus, properly transformed. I'd like to apologize to those of you who felt slighted that I mistransformed the cab, the white robot. It was too late, I already finished editing and and uploaded the video before and when I noticed it and I it's simply inexcusable and here is the proper transformation. I'll try and do better next time. And in case you were curious, uh, here is Siege Ultra Magnus with the rest of the Wreckers, World Sandstorm, Springer, and Roadbuster. And of, of course, Wreckgar, who's not a Wrecker, but if you watched the movie back in the 80s, you know why he is significant.